and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. In this short video, I'm going to show you a very interesting utility on Cisco iOS and that is TCL scripting on Cisco iOS, right? This document uh, talked about 17.x, but this feature is available uh, much below that. That means like uh, if you are in 12 or 13, you should be able to um, use TCL shell, all right? So what is TCL? TCL is scripting language. And what is TCL with iOS? It is the Cisco iOS XE TCL shell was designed to allow customer to run TCL commands directly from Cisco iOS XE CLI prompt, right? And several methods have been developed for creating and running TCL script within Cisco iOS XE software. And we'll talk about that, right? Another uh, strength is multiple user on the same router can be on can be in TCL configuration mode at the same time because every time you drop into TCL shell, it launches a separate interpreter and TCL server process. And you can see the distinction by using show process command, right? When in TCL shell mode, you can run uh, exec level commands or you can write your script and invoke that script, right? So what do you do to enable TCL shell? It's pretty easy. You don't have to configure anything. It's already enabled. So from enable mode, you just have to type TCL SH and it will, uh, it enables interactive TCL shell and drop you into TCL configuration mode. From there, you can do two things. You can write your script. Uh, if you, if you have familiarity, a little bit of familiarity about TCL, uh, you can write your script. There are plenty of literature available around TCL scripting language in internet. So you can do a Google search and quickly educate yourself about this language. Or what you can do, you can also run some exec level show commands, just like written, shown here, TCL shell. And from there, exec show interface and the output will be dumped here, right? So now for our demo, what we will do, we will write a very quick, and simple script because I am also not a TCL uh, expert, but uh, this utility is primarily used by, in my opinion, I have seen a lot of CCI candidate, they use TCL utility and write some short TCL script uh, to check reachability between various services which they are building as a part of their lab, or it is heavily used by Cisco support engineers uh, when they have to collect uh, debug or logs from customer switches in router, they write this kind of like a complex TCL script, which they can run on customer network in automated fashion and collect all those lo logs without confu confusing customer, right? So now let's go and run uh, or create a TCL script. Before I create a script, let me quickly show you what is the version I'm using using here. As you can see, it's 16.12.1, right? And now let's create a TCL script. So I have already written a script, a very easy script, and I'll talk about that here. As you can see, this is uh, the complete script. I'm saying TCL SH, it will drop in TCL uh, configuration mode. From there, I'm using ports uh, to create a file in Flash because I want to uh, invoke this script at, and storing it in flash you can store it anywhere like a tftp server or somewhere from where what i'm saying that uh, okay open this uh, create this file if not uh, exist already in ping.tcl and write to it what you have to write like for each ip this is the some list of ip and what i want to do i want to uh, do a ping ip these are the variables so and timeout of one so i'm going to Ping all those IPs mentioned above with a timeout of one. I have done a little bit of enhancement here. So if I'm doing a regex match, if my response from the ping has exclamation mark, then I'll say IPs are reachable. Otherwise, I'll say failed, right? Very simple script. Um, you can use it in your environment if you have a lot of uh, services which you want to track. Or again, if you are a CCI candidate, it's very useful in lab. Right. But other than that, you can write if as and when you gain ex expertise with TCL, you can write complex scripts. Right. So let me paste it. And before I paste, uh, okay. 
you don't have to be in like conf mode or something here as you can see paste it and tcl quit let's quickly verify if i have the file created so dir flash i and ping include and ping right so you can see i have we have file created in flash now to run this what you have to do you have to again say tcl sh and from there you have to provide the location so it is in flash all right so it's it is actually started the script and with a timeout of one it is going to ping all the ips one by one so 111 it's not reachable because this router is not connected to internet similarly to 222 but 192 168 61.1 is reachable because it's a private network and hence you can see two of my ip fail but one pass and we got the response right so uh this is all i wanted to show you around tcl uh, this is a very co uh, cool but not very popular utility but i'm sure uh, you can make a good use of it uh, so thank you for watching and if you like please uh, share subscribe and give me a comment in, in comment section thank you very much